All right, as you can see, we are in. We're at our new home here, yes. Edgewater Air Park. We'll, we'll probably be doing more videos on that soon, but today we figured, uh, just to keep uh, driving on, if you will, <laughs> we figured we'd do the first ever crawler expedition here at Edgewater Air Park, the home of flight test, and yeah. now also the home of drive on. So, cool. check this out. We have all the vehicles needed. Boom for success. As per usual, we got our Red Cat Gen 8. Been loving them. Got the orange edition. By the way, if you're watching this video, that means that there is a new flight test video featuring the Gen 8s and also a giant sky van. All right, All right ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Here we go, come on out. Yes, yes! We'll put a link below, but we figured we'd load up and we're gonna go on a little tour. Steph and I have been walking the property and there's some yep. pretty cool spots. So we're gonna take the crawlers and go have some fun. And we figured we'd bring you guys with us. Expedition time, three, two, one. Go. So this is the original Gen 8 from the review that we did a while ago on this channel. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, we're parked right next to the steep incline, but down a little bit. See, my thing is this is a little bit under these pine trees, so I'm thinking it's gonna be a little bit less moist. And I have a couple different lines, like a rest area behind these trees where I think I can hopefully get my car up to and then move on. All right, buddy. Good luck, bud. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Okay, hold on, I'm not done. <laughs> dude, this Gen 8's beasty, dude. Yeah, dude. She wants it. Oh, that's deep brush right there, buddy. Yeah, the brush. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back her up. We're going this way. Okay, don't fall. Watch out for the tree. Oh! You got it, dude. You got it. Dude, you're in it, dude. You can't even see the wheels in that brush. Dang, the pine needles are what's killing yeah, us dude. right now. So if I can get above this tree, though. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so uh, fail on the first attempt. So I think it's onward to the next obstacle. On to the next obstacle. Drive on, dude. <laughs> Just kind of drive on. The other cool thing about crawlers uh, that is a little bit different than, than other RC cars is that these batteries will literally last you what feels like a lifetime. Yeah, we're running a thir uh, three cell 3300 Lumineer. We're leaving you in the dirt, in the dust, dude. <laughs> Come on, buddy! <laughs> Come on, buddy! <laughs> Come on, son! So what he's trying to do is go through this puddle long ways here. I don't think you got it in you. Yeah. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, dude. You did it, man. Dude, that was awesome. How'd that feel? Oh, that was fantastic. But still, dude, it was amazing. All right, now see if you can take it through this uh, series of puddles right here. Right. Coming straight at me. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> There's just something about crawling. Crawling didn't really make sense to me. And I don't think it makes sense to anybody until you do it. 
Yeah, it's thing. just weird. The cars are not fast. In fact, they're slow. There's something about lock differentials, the scale looks and just the articulation of the suspension and like going up to an obstacle that is nearly the same size as the car and just very slowly just powering over it and conquering Con it. That's the word, <laughs> conquering it. It's so, it's so, bad. It's, so bad. it's crazy, okay. All right. All right, on to the next one. All right, so I have some concerns about the depths here of this uh, river. Stefan, you wanna do a, do a little run first? <laughs> yeah, I want to I ruin my car first. Here, you take that, dude. <laughs> All right, Stefan's up. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cross over. The, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna feel it out. I'm gonna cross in the uh, the area that is not. Right here. These are rushing, raging rivers. Okay, everybody. Yeah. Rushing, raging rivers. Oh, that was a little sketchy. I'm gonna get in there in the deep, and I'm just gonna let myself run down the river, and hopefully have enough ability to get myself out. You ready? Yep. The river runs through it. Yeah, right in the river. <laughs> White water rapids, baby. Alright, this is my plan, this is my plan, yeah! <laughs> dude, no joke, half the guy I not even travel. <laughs> they act like little water runners. Yeah, dude, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you are... <laughs> What's your plan of attack now? <laughs> oh. She probably just doesn't have signal because the receiver's underwater. Oh, she's back. No way. No way. Keep keep her going. It's like a squid pig. <laughs> <laughs> my whole my whole body's on the underneath. Dang dude, your driver's gonna drown if you go any deeper. Try to get off to the right or the left to I'm start. Try I'm trying, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Back up so your wheels are digging holes. See that? Yep. No, 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 no. I'm in the rough stuff, dude. <laughs> All right, that's your approach. <laughs> oh, dude. Ah. Just get her, the body's gonna come off, be careful. Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna say, the body on these things is just Velcroed on. Yeah, so you, I know. Dude. You gotta pick it up by the bumper. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at that. There's your problem. <laughs> when your full car is almost submerged underwater and you still somehow get out of it. The fact that it even still works uh, is crazy still. <laughs> incredible. At the end of the day, my hands are a little muddy, my hands are a little cold, but that's what happens when you go crawling at a golf course yep. with your buddy. <laughs> so I think I'm going to hold off on this one. <laughs> You know what? I think that's a good idea. Appreciate you breaking my car. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look for a new one. Okay, so as you can see, we are at the uh, Oasis Mecca uh, Lagoon River Rapids. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no insertion point from this side, so I'm I'm gonna have to take an alternative route. Let me get my car. All right, and we're off. So the cool thing about three cell, I didn't think that I would need or want three cell, but it's actually really cool because when you're not on some difficult terrain you can crank it into overdrive and you can get to where you need to go a lot faster. So as you can see, I'm maxed out right there and she's clipping. Okay, so here's the here's the part that's going to be challenging. Uh, it's just a test of your depth perception as you're crawling across this bridge. Oh. <laughs> you're already getting those, dude. <laughs> Is this bridge functional? Hold on, I want to go over there a little no, bit. No, 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 no. Am I? I don't know if you're on the bridge or not, dude. It's, hard, it's so hard to tell. It's a long drop. Okay, I'm definitely on the bridge. 
Oh, oh that's perfect. Oh, man. Golden. I'm just gonna hug this left side here. Here in a moment, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to be going into a complete blind spot where I can't even see my car. And I'm just gonna feel it using the, uh, using the crawler force. Okay, the truck is out of sight. And I'm just gonna keep her straight. I had her nice and trimmed. Pull a left turn right there. Okay, she's back in, she's back in visual. It's a little, the little crawler that could. There's something that's hilarious about what looks like a real truck off in the distance, just very, very tiny. I actually have always wanted to do a thing where we put FPV on a little scale crawler and just go on an expedition through a public space. So leave us a comment down below if you'd like to see something like that. Okay, so as you can see, we're coming around here. Now the problem, the problem here is, is if it tips, I gotta go get it. So You're I'm gonna so. take her nice and slow. Oh, that's not bad. Didn't see that stick. <laughs> I was gonna say, did you ran to... Oh no, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's a stick of death, dude. I just touched that stick. <laughs> this is Alex in his natural habitat. <laughs> Are you kidding me? After everything we've been through. dude so that's edgewater actually it's funny because that wasn't that was like two holes that yeah was, that was like exactly. two holes like we didn't even cover 10 percent of the land so there's still a lot of uh, crawling expeditions to be had a lot of discoveries to be yes. found uh, i'm looking forward to it if you guys are coming to flight fest or just coming out to edgewater in general bring your planes but also Bring your crawlers. crawlers. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, shout out to our friends over at Red Cat. Thanks for sending us the Gen 8s as per usual. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. And let us know if you like this style of content. We've been moving into Edgewater for like the past week and we didn't know if we were going to do a video or not, but we were going to go out and do a little bit of crawling and we figured might as well do a quick little video for you guys. So hope you guys liked it. Let us know if you did or if you want to see more of the traditional product like review type of content. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.